thank you for supporting our channel and for watching this video our topic for today is all about pressure calibrator we must know this one how to use because all inspector need to simulate a pressure switches or transmitter if you want to carry out a alarms this is our pressure digital gauge that is the battery indicator setup setup for the unit called bar the tip that is the handle for pumping this is the adjustment fine adjustment the sticker is DCS that is our our calibration sticker expired 2021 we need to check the batteries what is the batteries battery is double A that is a 2021 for the next calibration this is the range that is at the top that is the range I need to focus what is the range for full scale for vacuum indicated there we need to close this one first by the way there is a calibration sticker if that sticker is removed or broken that is void we need to secure this first this pressure calibrator is for vacuum and pressure push this for pressure means positive pressure push this button if you need to use vacuum example this one the vacuum this is the discharge I already press the vacuum and then I start pumping as you can see 0 0.6 vacuum negative this is the bleeding bleeding bulb bleeder bulb which you can bleed or release the air this is the adjustment that is the maximum if you press other side that is for the positive pressure we need to bleed first and close this valve for simulation need to pump it okay starts to increase our digital pressure maximum is 20 bars this is only for simulating range about 20 bars start pumping again reaches to 8.2 bars at the side this is the release you can see it releases the pressure if you want to close count clockwise you do pumping again so that will increase the pressure and then we will use this one this valve 
this valve is for increasing if you turn clockwise you can increase the pressure you can increase the pressure slowly until four bars I think 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 almost 7 bars 8 bars almost 9 bars for this for this bulb example 9 going to 17 uh, 18 I think almost 8 or 9 but this is the fine adjustment it's easy right this is the fine adjustment to increase or to decrease starts with 8 going to 18 almost 9 or 10 okay we need to release okay, 0 0 this is the release bulb we already finished for vacuum and positive pressure next again we need to do vacuum already close the valve and then starting to turn clockwise as you can see it builds up the pressure Now it's get getting getting to negative pressure. Now we rotate clockwise totally. And then we need to start to close the discharge bulb. You can press or you can do this handle adjustment close the release valve and then first we need to do zero zero by releasing the valve discharge valve and we need to use this fine adjustment as you can see i pressing slowly the handle and the pressure is built up abrupt but at this side this is the fine adjustment this one starting to do clockwise and the pressure is going to negative going to vacuum this is the what is you what is it uh, this is the character of this pressure pressure calibrator this is good because there is a fine adjustment at the side as you can see if you turn slowly you can set the pressure exactly what you want almost exactly what you want range or model first T dash nine seven five T dash nine seven five and then this is the range can see there is a bar 0.91 bars to 40 but our digital gauge is only 20 
this is the first calibration 18 it means three years from now because our ship is three years old this equipment is almost three years old this is the box and all fittings all the fittings that we need also this is the extension cable or extension hose cable for some fittings this is the different kinds of fittings included fittings adapters And then this one is different sizes small to big and also this one this this is also the special special connector for our pressure gauge there is the o-ring at the tip and I show you how to use this one there is a clump it's like that and then you remove the bolt and then you can tighten it no need to remove all fittings for pressure gauges or pressure transmitter as well as pressure switches This is the fittings that we need for specific pressure switches, temperature, uh, pressure gauges, and transmitters. Uh, what else? This one. will fix first and then our temperature calibrator is Amitech and then first I will show you how to change the unit PSI like that like that like that like that it's it's different bars ah sorry it's different unit that you want this is the backlight again set up average high and low you can set the setting setting alarm for right now it we don't need that one LT light on 15 seconds with 60 or depends upon you just press setup and next so that you can choose what you want example this one turn off when it's not used sample like this we need to remove this one this is actual demo this is the connector that we need we need to remove that bolt and close this valve and only only thing to do is hook it and tighten other one we find other one almost the same almost the same connector but different size of bolt but it will fit this will fit for this fit kind of fittings 
Ok, it's finished. If you learn from this video, click like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. And follow us on Facebook, Barco TV. Thank you very much.